So here's my little camp. Not much to it. Right beside the creek, flattest spot I could find. I hate getting this close to the creek, but the flattest spot I could find. All my gears over there on that log. And uh, got my tarp shelter up. Had to build a little fire. It was a smudge fire. It's, it's, it's kept caught up now, but there's millions of gnats out here and they're the biting kind. I didn't bring any kind of deed or anything. So, uh, I got some sassafras here and one little piece of tulip poplar. I'm gonna strip all the bark off of those and boil that down in my canteen cup as soon as I get some coals. Try to make me some natural bug repellent. I'm so far from the truck, it's just, it'll just be, I mean, it took me it took me two hours to walk in here. I'm not walking back to the truck for bug spray, so I'm gonna keep a little smudge fire going and try to uh, make me some natural bug spray, and that's gonna be that. I'll never forget bug spray again. I usually have it even in wintertime. It just stays in my pack, but I'm using this new pack. So anyway, camp set up. Maybe we'll get some campfire cooking or something later on, and turkey hunting in the morning. Cool. Some tulip poplar. And if you'll cut some sassafras, you know, some green twigs and some tulip poplar twigs and smell them, they smell real lemony, real citrusy. So I'm going to take those and uh, peel the bark into my uh, canteen cup and uh, try to make me a little natural bug spray. Any of you who ever smelt uh, sassafras before, you know this, this will probably work. I've never tried it, but I'll bet you this is going to work. I've seen them do some something similar on Sigma, Sigma 3 Survival School's channel. Alright, so, so far, you know, I got that much that was pretty quick i'm gonna get about a half a cup full then i'm gonna fill it up with water set it on the fire we'll see how it turns all right so i got me about a half a cup scraped up half a canteen cup see that there you go just gonna go down to the creek dip that thing with i'm gonna just barely cover it with water let that stew on the campfire enough to cover it.
righteous. Some homemade bug juice. Here in a little while. Okay, so that's steaming good now. I just peeled the bark off a stick and give it a little stir every now and then. And man, I'm just going to cook that down until there's almost no water left in it. Then I got this little pill vial on my on my uh, keychain. All right, it's been stewing for a few hours. Just on the smudge fire, and the smudge fire has helped immensely with the bugs. Um, and when I get downwind of that, I can smell that. It smells a lot like citronella. So I took all the pulpy, barky leftovers out of there. And I'm just trying to get that to condense a little more. Um, but it's real oily to the touch. I think that's going to work. I think that's going to work out for me. I'm going to try it anyway. I need something. Ooh, it's hot, but if I break out in hives, I'll take a bin of drill and head to the head truck. But I know I'm not allergic to sassafras because I drank sassafras tea before. The ears is the main part, you know. If I keep them off my ears, they don't drive me as crazy. Anyway. There you go. Bush bushcraft bug spray. I'll let you know if it works. Here goes my sassafras decoction. I don't care if it's a little bit chunky. Perfect. Now, I got something to kind of halfway keep the bugs off me. Um, and when I applied it earlier, I will have to say that the bugs that touched me didn't want to sit on me as long. Certainly didn't want to sit on me long enough to bite. So, as far as I'm concerned, that's a <coughs> total success. Sassafras bug juice. Cool. We'll see you on the next one.